It was difficult, really, uh, picking the team on this occasion. When you have subs coming in and doing so well, uh, turning the game for us, really, in the second half, you know, it was always going to be a tough decision to make between that and uh, the players that started. But, um, you know, we've selected the same team, which means, I suppose, we have a lot of confidence in the players that we've selected. That's understandable <laughs> that there would be a lot of comment about Dermot because, as you say, it's taken off in the previous two games. Um, from our point of view, it wasn't that difficult with Dermot. You know, every player, I think... Um, that's ever played hurling at the highest level. You go through a little period where you're not playing at your best and that doesn't mean that you become a bad player, you know, you work your way out of it and we see it as um, you know, more an opportunity to leave Dermot work his way out of this one and um, we have the confidence that he can do that, obviously. It's obviously a while since we played, I suppose, a, a serious game um, but no, I don't have any concerns about it really because the situation we, we knew that situation existed anyway, and it's going to be five weeks of wait for semi final. But we would take that, I suppose, at the time, definitely. Um, Cork have had great games, obviously, recently, the past few weeks. They've had two, two terrific games and came through them very, very well. But I suppose, you know, something nobody would know about until Sunday happens, you know, and we have to just get out there and. and you know, we've had good time to train and prepare for it. But anything I would say, I suppose, is the test we had in Leinster. Um, I know I said at the time there were decent tests, there were serious tests. I think Offaly and Wexford have proved in the meantime that they are uh, teams of high quality and, you know, Offaly went on to beat Limerick and run Watford close and, as you know, Wexford came very close to beating Watford as well. So, you know, I said at the time that they were very, very good tests and I believe it then, I still believe it. No matter what the situation is, no matter how bad it looks, no matter how far behind we are in a game, these guys can dig deep and pull it out. Um, that shows uh, that that says most of what you'd worry about, really, you know. Uh, because you know, in, in my job, like it's complacency is the biggest problem, and if players get into uh, a, a boat of that, it's very hard to shake them out of it. So I think that was the biggest plus for me that the players answer that yes, they do care about this game, that they do want to win, and that they, you know, they pull themselves out of any hole. A lot of teams would have, I think, in either the Galway game or the Clare game would probably have resigned themselves to the fact that this is not going to be our day. But I think our fellas do very deep and uh, turned around bad situation, hurled well to do that, and that was very pleasing. Going back a lot more, longer than six years, uh, Kilkenny Cork regularly is uh, an absolutely massive part of the association and, and it's healthy and it's decent and it's respectful and, and, and long may it last, you know. Um, but next Sunday's game will take on a life of its own like all, the other, uh, like all the other big matches do and will be decided on next Sunday and everything that happened in the past won't come into it really. There's no doubt about it, a slow start against Kilkenny and you'd find yourself six points down very quickly and that would develop to 10 and 12 very, very quickly. We're aware of that and, you know, it, it's not so much that we start very badly because against Tipperary we hurled brilliantly in the opening 20 minutes and fell into a valley period then. Um, so it, our, our main job, I think, in task is to get a full 70-minute game together. And if we can manage to do that, we'll do ourselves justice, I think, then. It's a big step up. It's a big step up. We're team, playing a team of, um, obviously, vast experience and a team who's shown great form over, over the past few weeks. Current form is very, very good in that, you know. So it's, it's a step up. It's a step up in every way, I mean, crowd-wise and everything else, and, and atmosphere-wise, everything builds up the whole lot. And... Like I said, um, it's the other in semi-final, the, the huge prize and offer is, there's no cups you said, but a huge prize and offer there is your first Sunday in September, you're going to be laying out an other in the final day, and that's, that's a massive thing for all the players. So it's, um, it's a big step up, and it's something that both teams look forward to in a big way. Initially, I would have preferred the path to the semi-final, yeah. Certainly, I, I, I don't think anybody would turn their nose at that. Um, but, you know, you're, you'd have to be conscious that it is... Uh, a little period without a major game that, that is the downside to that and you know it's something that I think that the GA itself in, in, in getting the championship together in a proper structure would need to be looking at you know it's, uh, you have some teams and they're going out three and four weeks in a row while other teams are waiting five, six weeks for a game you know it's very lopsided really A lot is made nowadays of huge sacrifices and everything else and it's a massive um, problem for fellas to be playing for County Hurling but I, I don't see it that way at all I think the players love doing what they're doing and I love doing what I'm doing and, and I'm sure Gerald does as well so everybody involved in and around the whole inter-county scene are having a good time and, and it's, it's what we want to be doing